And we're live. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining again. So just as per normal, if I can just do a sound check and obviously a picture check, make sure everybody can see and hear okay. So just to get some thumbs up, please, if you can hear everything okay. I'll just step back as well, hopefully. Looks good from my picture, but I just need to make sure everybody can see all right. There's Thomas, can always rely on Thomas. Good lad, Thomas. Cheers, Stuart. Let's try and hit 10, and I know for sure, I can be assured that everybody can. There we go. Great stuff. Thanks very much. And if I stand back as well. Okay, we're here. Okay, from here. Yeah. Great. I've got a bit more room today, so um, <laughs> hopefully you guys have got, again, just all you need is a couple of metres square and then we're good to go. Okay, folks, good. So just keep limbering up just now. I'll give it another 30 seconds because more people are joining, I can see. Just keep limbering up and then we'll start. Okay, folks, here we go again. So for those of you who don't know me, if you're the first time joining, my name's Craig McAvoy, and I'm Performance Director in Joint National Post of Boxing Scotland. And this is our fourth live technical training session, okay? It's going to be the same structure as previous sessions, i.e. we'll start off with a specific warm-up. Hopefully you're all generally warmed up. We're going to start off with a specific warm-up, where today I'm going to focus on three different footwork drills that can be modified, as you see. Then we're going to move on to the skill phase, which today we're going to work on the fainting skills. We must, must, must master feints as a boxer. And then at the end, as per previous um, live streams, we're going to put everything together and you know, do a bit of a, a sort of tempo workout, a bit of tactical stuff. Okay, so three elements in the session again. Right, folks, we're going to crack on. So remember, I'll always remind you, boxing's generally done side on. Okay, but not natural. Let's start again with the neutral stance, okay? Remember, nice off knees. We'll go straight into the three, three, and three. Nice off knees. Make sure you're in a good position. Don't hunch the shoulders. Just take your time as we go. So we're going to go down one, down two, down three, okay? Feel the weight of the balls of the feet across. One, two, three, okay? Good. Mind to muscle. One, two, three, and across. One, two, three. We'll go straight into the touch as well. Right hand touch. Don't throw specific punches, just rotate round, warm on the spike of the back up, okay? Touch, there, there. Okay, so all together, let's raise the tempo a little bit now. One, we're looking to go further on two, nice and explosive on three. One, bit further, two, nice and explosive three. One, bit down, more down, two, nice and explosive three. One, two, three, touch, there, there, touch, there, there. Down again, three in your own time. Keep that going. Keep a good rhythm now. Let's do this for 60 seconds, okay? Good all body warm up, okay? Plyometric movements. We're going to speak about plyometrics today. People think plyometrics is just jumping. It's not. It's fast contractions of the muscle to give you maximum power. So whether we're moving fast or punching fast, that's what I mean by plyometric. So again, 20 seconds to go. There, there, there. Across, across. Remember, get that shoulder right across. For number three, back down, across, touch. Keep moving, keep moving. Last 10 seconds, fast as we can. Down, 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 rotate, rotate, rotate. Down, 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 rotate, rotate, rotate. Touch, touch. Nice and relaxed. Good stuff, okay. Footwork drill number one, okay. Still on a specific warm-up. Footwork drill number one. Boxers watching and listening, as soon as you see what skill we're doing, and you know it, and you should be familiar with it, you just crack on, okay? So when I'm explaining, I'm speaking to the boxers now on the program, you just crack on. So, neutral position, nice and simple, okay? This is what I want everybody to do. I'm not going to work on the left foot first, my right foot's going to stay where it is. First stage, okay, I just want you to take a stride forward with your left foot, a natural stride, don't overextend. So just touch forward, as soon as you've touched, come back to the neutral stance, take it out to the side, okay? And then take it back the way. So just think about moving your foot forward, step to the side, stepping back. 
Same with the right foot, okay? Just think natural step forward, step out to the side, step to the back, okay? So now, that's hopefully that's you've got your natural step. Now, this is the mind to muscle. Now I want you to think, I don't want you to think just moving the foot, I want you to think about the hip, which we spoke about in the first three videos. So as I go forward my left foot now, okay, I'm just thinking my hip, turning in, turn there, oh look, all of a sudden, I'm landed in a boxing position, okay? Back, turn with the hip, this time, I'm pushing my hip out, okay, letting my foot slide out, so hips leading that. And again, hips go back this way, stay that stride there. Same with the right hand, right, right side, right foot, hip turn, touch, there we go, stance, for the side ball boxer, back, across, okay, and back there. Okay, now we're going to do this for 60 seconds, for a good timing. Okay, remember, don't compensate the skills for speed, make sure the skill is there. So again, there, touch, let the hands be relaxed, touch. As you can see now as I go, I'm rotating around that central axis. Okay, what boxing is all about, rotating around the central axis, touch, 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 get a good rhythm, touch. Nice and relaxed, touch. Let the hands, every move as well, okay? Good rhythm. Touch, forward, back, always come back to that neutral stance. Touch, across, touch, right foot, touch. Good for coordination, if you speed it up fast now, speed it up fast, coordination, okay? Left side and right side. Keep that going, another 15 seconds. Keep that going. Good stuff, good. Now we'll make it more specific. And you'll see with all these drills we do, you don't need any equipment, okay? You just need discipline in the mind to know how you improve skill, okay? It's not just by shadow boxing, sparring bags all the time. You need to improve the athletic capabilities of agility, balance, and coordination. This drill does that. This time, same again, but we're going to be more specific. So my hands are going to be up. So look, when I go forward, touch, okay? Boxing stance. A little bit of a stab in with the front foot. Out to the side, let's bend a little bit of the waist, okay? Like that warm-up drill, let's bend a little bit of the waist. And then back there, okay? Same with the right side. Touch, out, back, there. Touch, out, back. Keep that going. Keep that going. I'll do it from the side. From there. Touch, box and stance, there. Bend, there. Right foot, there, 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 okay? Keep that going, keep a good rhythm. If you've cracked the technique, go faster. Just while you're moving, so think about it. If you want to just concentrate in the orthodox stance, you can just walk around the right foot, i.e. right foot station, right? And you can do a simple drill there, like we've done before, a thousand times, okay? To improve your stance, to improve your balance in the stance. Good stuff, Ty. So now we're going to progress this drill, okay? There's a number of things you can do with this drill. We're going to progress it, and each week we might we, we might come back to it and show you different modifications. This time, okay, well, before I start, I like to explain footwork in boxing. There's two types. There's general footwork, where we've got space, and we're in the ring, okay, no real sort of like threats from the opponent, we're moving, or we've got the footwork in distance, which really is an art, where you execute small movements, trying to set your attack up, defend, so using this drill, we're going to practice small movements of the feet as follows. I'll do it from the side. Here we go. So first of all, I'm not going to concentrate my hands just now. I'm going to turn and touch. Then look, I'm going to push for a little step. I'm going to push back and touch there. Make sense? I'm going to show you this way for the side. So for the side step, I'm going to turn there, okay? Turn my hip and then back in. So it's two movements we're doing now. So we'll start again at the front. Left foot move, is that what we've done? And a little jump forward, a little drift forward. Okay, drift back, back to position. Okay, slide out and then turn. Okay, back in. Back, back. Right foot, touch, forward, back. Neutral stance, side step. There, there, back. There, there, back. Okay, just keep that going just now. So we're just adding one more movement in. Just keep practicing that just now. So from the neutral stance, just watch as you keep going, keep going. A turn, a touch, forward, back, back to position. Okay, same with the side step. There, turn, there, back to position. So we just add a little bit of movement. So when we're boxing, and we're taking in some small steps, okay? This is what we're practicing. Keep that going. Turn, there, back, turn. Side step, turn, back, there. Turn, back, there. So as you can see, 
just keep doing that as you can see so I'm maybe shovel boxing now look at the little movements I'm executing inside distance that's what this drill can improve on keep it going keep it going and then once you've really mastered it you can move fast touch boom boom there from the side look touch there 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 touch there 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 nice and springy touch there there back in touch there there back in just like boxing time there good Okay, I'm explaining, folks, as we go because it's very important we understand. Okay, look at the boxers, anybody watching, we need to understand what we're doing, why we're doing. Now, we're going to progress this drill one more time before we go into the next drill. This time, specific again, just one movement, but when my foot strikes, I'm just going to throw a punch. So, I'm moving my left foot, I'm going to throw with my left hand, okay? And just now we won't go too technical or specific, I just want you to concentrate on timing, like so. So as I move, okay, I want the punch to land when the foot strikes. Same with side on, okay? There. Same when we go back, there. Okay, so again, nice and slow. Touch, touch, touch. Okay, same with the right hand. Touch, touch, touch. So as you see, we're bringing everything together now. Feet, Trunk, hands, coordination. Away you go, folks. Just keep watching me while you're there. There, there, there. You'll feel now, if you're not turning at the hip, the punch isn't going to feel natural. Okay? Hence the reason why we rotate all the time. So you keep going. Remember, turn with the hip, punch. If my hip's sloppy, I just put my foot forward and punch. My balance is going to go. Okay? So you must now be moving around that central axis all the time. Keep it going. Punch, 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 punch. Good shake off. We're just going to do this fast now for 60 seconds, okay? Get your heart rate up. I want you to focus on everything, but your main focus, please, is timing. So that, okay? I don't want that and then that after, or that head for the front foot and foot after. I want the same time. Boom. Okay, there, there. Okay, folks, 60 seconds. If you're doing it with somebody else in your room, have a little race. Left side, on number three, right side, three, stand by. Where we go? Where we go? Focus on the timing. Focus on the timing. When the foot strikes, the punch lands. Hands and feet together, good. Rotating through, rotating through, always in control of the balance. As you rotate in there, as you move off, as you move back, there, there, there. There, there, there. Non-punching hand as always. See there from on the left side. That's there all the time. A non-punching hand isn't moving. Transfer to the left hand for protection. Time. Good stuff, right, folks? Grab a quick drink of water. 30 seconds. Can I just do another little sound check, folks? Just give two or three thumbs up. Make sure you can still hear. So I don't get to the end and nobody said anything. Just two or three, if you're near your computer. Great, thank you. Thomas again. I always rely on Thomas the tank. Good stuff, thanks. Right, great stuff. Right, folks. Football drill number two, okay? Same emphasis on rotation, but we can use this to improve our agility and move, move in different directions. So I'm going to start this from the side. Look, I'm going to start from my natural boxing stance, okay? Well, you'll see we can switch sides. So orthodox stance, nice and relaxed. My back foot, look, and count, okay? And look at the turn. I'm just going to go one, two, three, okay? As soon as I hit number three, I'm pushing back. One, two, three. Okay, look, one, two, three. One, two, three, easy. Bring the ball to the foot, bring the hip, we'll do it facing this way. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, get that going. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, get the time in 10 seconds, nice and relaxed. So it's really that my hip is doing the work, and my heels just following, so bring the ball to the foot, just like boxing, just like boxing, that's what these drums are for. Okay, good, now we've mastered that. So let's see that was out of our three gears in boxing, that was gear number one. Let's go to gear number two now. A little bit faster. A little bit faster. We'll do it from the side. A little bit faster. We're working on rotation all the time. 
Rotating round that central access, folks. Rotating round with flair. If you're heavy footed doing this, clumpy, clumpy, clump, when we're boxing, we're going to have trouble. So these drills should be done absolutely immaculate. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Time there. Okay. 60 seconds coming up. Gear number three, maximum speed. I'm going to use the word plyometric again. Why? To change direction. So look. I'll give you an example first. If I just touch, 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 same way on the leg there, okay? Same way there. I'm not going to change direction fast. Look at this. If I go touch, 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 bang, touch, 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 bang, touch, touch, bang, touch, touch, bang, touch, touch, bang. I'm going to move because I'm contracting my leg muscle for maximum power. Plyometric movements, not just jumping, okay? Use it for boxing. Stand by. In position, ready? 60 seconds, go. <laughs> Fast, 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 fast. Push off. Fast, fast, fast. Come on. Fast, 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 fast. Be light in the feet. Should be doing the power. Do, do, do power. All the time rotating. Should be looking at yourself on the screen. Like me, side on. Back to side on. This side. That side. This side. That side. Keep going. Another 20 seconds. Fast. Fast. Come on. Tempo. Tempo. Nice and light in the feet. Nice. This is going to help your footwork. I can guarantee it. You practice all the time. This will help your movement and footwork. Last 10 seconds. Time. Good. Okay, now, other side. This time, left foot. So, southpaw stance, okay? So, again, this is the beauty of all these drills. Just so you know, if you're there as a side for all, doesn't matter. You can concentrate on one side. We can concentrate on another side. I'm doing two together because it's going to help overall coordination. So look, left foot. One, two, three. We'll get number one. Where we go, folks. Be nice and relaxed. See, shock absorbers we spoke about. Nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. Just like in the box in there. Nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. It's the legs that get you about. It's the bottom platform. Everything works from the feet. If the base is sloppy, if the balance is sloppy, everything up here is going to be sloppy. Okay, work on your footwork balance all the time. Keep that going, another 10 seconds, just feel for it. Remember, lead them with a hip, lead them with a hip, lead them with a hip, lead them with a hip. Time, let's take up the gear two now, okay? A little bit faster. Um, 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 um. Bring the ball to the feet, okay? Heels following the hip, you just keep going. So if I'm looking down, my heel is in line with my hip all the time. My heel, if not, I'm going to have problems, I'll probably injure myself, but also it means I'm not rotating, or I've been sloppy, or I'm not thinking, I'm not concentrating. Keep that going. Another 10 seconds, gear two. Time. Okay, same as before. Remember, let me remind you. One, two, push, 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 push. Then we go gear push, push. Think about driving that hand, think about squatting. Why do we squat? Why do we go down that far to engage the muscle for power? If we want to move fast to get out of trouble fast and attack fast, we need to engage the muscle. This drill practices that. Stand by. Where do you go? Fast. Fast. Do, do, do. Oh, slam that front foot in. Back. Back. Fast. One, two, three. Push. One, two, three. Come on. Power. Power. Rotate round the side. There, there, there. Rotate. So you're going for that shoulder to that shoulder. That shoulder to that shoulder. That shoulder. Keep it going. Keep it going. 10 seconds. Maximum pace. Then. Come on. Good stuff. Maximum pace. Maximum pace. Time. Good. Okay. We're going to progress this drill. How are we doing for time? Spawn. We're going to progress this drill one more time. And we're going to go to football drill number three. So... One more than this. So nice and simple, like we did with drill number one. It's all about building up and modifying. So this time, start off from our position here, right foot. I'm going to be specific now on boxing stance, okay? I'm going to go one, two, three, punch. One, two, three, punch, okay? So I'm on guard, look. When I'm moving, I'm on guard. I'm releasing the punch there. Like all the drills we've done before, everything's built on that. Same again, one, two, three, there, left and down. As my foot draws back, my guard draws back, and I punch there. Up, up, up. There, okay? 
That was, I'm going to give myself 10 burpees after because I see my head go over the front foot because I wasn't concentrating there. So don't be doing that. There, back, back, back. Okay, that's better. Right, folks, get an idea where we go. Gear number one, first of all, get the time in. There, there, punch. There, there, punch. There, there, punch. Good, keep it going. Okay, shake off now, gear number two. A little bit quicker. There, there, there. There, there, there. There, there, there. There, there, there. Okay, gear number two. Gear number two, let's go. Gear number two. Remember what I've said before, you will have a bit of a sweat on, of course, the heart rate's up. But this is more brain training. You should feel yourself concentrating. If you're doing this and watching outside the window or listening to me and not concentrating, then... Maybe you just want to try and engage the brain. Maximum concentration. Good time then. Okay, ready for speed number three. 60 seconds. Okay. Remember the key points. In your stance, let the hand go on the foot strike back. Foot strike fast as you can. Forward and back. Stand by. Where we go. Where we go. Come on. Fast. Speed. 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 Forward and back. Forward and back. Speed. 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 Keep it going. Speed. Speed. 20 seconds. Really fast now. Watch that head. Don't let the head go over the front foot. Keep them shoulders. Keep that chest controlled. Like I say, don't be hunching. Okay, keep that position as best as you can. Last five. Three, two, one. Time. Good stuff. Let me drink the water, folks. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, drink water. Okay, foot word drill, sorry, number three coming up. Everybody still here? I'm going to put my money on Thomas. Don't let me down, Thomas. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Who can hear? Can you still hear? Hopefully you can still hear. Give us a thumbs up, please. Oh, my, oh, Maddie just pipped you to the post there, Thomas. And Spike. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Good stuff. Okay. Foot one drum number three. Okay. So now on the floor, look. I'm going to draw a good little mark here. I want you, I want you to visualise a clock face on the floor. So as I'm looking down, my rear foot is in the centre of the clock and my front foot's at the 12 o'clock position, okay? And all I'm going to do, first of all, is, is just try and land on each hour, if that makes sense, for my front foot. So I'm just going, I'll do it nice and simple to start, okay? I'm just there, nice and simple, okay? All I'm doing, I'm concentrating on keeping the base, keeping the distance. This is good if you've got a circle in the gym. I'm just going there nice and simple, so you just do that. Just literally transfer the weight back foot to front foot as we move around, okay? Keep that foot central. Going round right there, okay, very nice and easy. We're going to build up in a second. And anti clockwise, so there, so my foot, my back foot's in the centre of my foot, going six o'clock, five o'clock, four o'clock, three o'clock, two o'clock. Okay, easy. Now, back to the plyometrics, okay? But how do we train ourselves to be nice and spriggy and move fast, okay? This little drill here, very good for it. This time we're going to move round, striking each hour, but I'm going to be very, look what I'm doing with my feet. I am lifting my feet up the floor. I'm not telling you to lift your feet up the floor when you box, but this is a good way to trick the body. So when I lift my foot on the floor, what happens? My muscles are contracting. So in that boxing specific space, my mind to muscles telling my muscles to contract to generate power. So look, this little demonstration. So I'm going there, I'm going there. On the tip of the the feet, okay? Right round, and the clockwise there. And the clockwise, and the clockwise, and the clockwise, and the clockwise. Same down a bit lower than your normal position. Keep that going. Right, rear foot should stay in the same position. Just circle round. Think of that. Nice and light in the feet. 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 Go round to your right. Go round to your left. Another 20 seconds. If you've done that, just keep just swapping over. Round to your right. Round to your left on the clock. Round to your right. Round to your left. Good. Okay, now, folks, this is where it gets 
a little bit more tricky now, not tricky as much, but more thought in it. So, trying to, I'm trying to improve my plyometric movement, okay? My legs, maybe I'm just a bit one pace in the round. Eventually, I'm gonna, this is what the, one of the objectives is. So this time, let's, let's go every second hour. So, so I'm not striking one, two, three, four, whatever. I'm going like two o'clock, four o'clock. But this time, I'm trying to get as low of my back leg as possible and over to my front leg. Okay, like so. There, 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 there. Say another way. Boom, 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 boom. Okay? And I'm, my legs are starting to feel a bit tired. We should feel that already, so keep that going. So we're down nice and low, okay? It's like a specific boxing exercise. Where you go? Right to the right. There, 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 there. Right to the left. Good, keep it going. Keep it going, we'll just progress this through. Progress this through. Next one, just keep just keep moving. I was speaking, now we're gonna go. Probably just about three o'clock. There, there, I'm gonna be more definite in my movement. There, there, so imagine I'm just staying in the same position there, okay? Imagine I'm staying in the same position, but I'm bringing a rotational movement at the hip. There. There, trying to stay central. Look, I'm shifting my weight. You just keep going, I'm shifting my weight accordingly. Just like in box, I'm moving back, forward. Get the idea, I'm shifting my weight. There, there, there. Keep that going. Change direction. The box is there, should feel what's coming now. So that leads you to a good, but when if we're, if we're skill training pivots, for example. So now I'm going to go. I'm going to go three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock. So I'm going to go there, nice and plyometric. There, there. Take a look at my back foot. I'm initiating the movement of my back foot. Why? Plyometric, get the power. So I rotate fast, okay? There, 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 there. So it's like two movements. Push, rotate, land. 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 There, same another way. There, there, there. Okay? Multi-directional. The orthodox boxes will feel comfortable going to their right. Okay? Not so comfortable going to your left. Vice versa for the south paws. We're going to move on now, folks, but just we'll, we'll come back to this drill in third session. But obviously, you can modify this by you can maybe go loads of foot strikes to three and then back fast to one. See that? Loads of foot strikes to three, back fast to one. Loads of foot strikes to nine, back fast to one. Okay? It's like when we're boxing, changing gear. Edging in. We need to move fast and turn. Get the idea. Right, folks, grab a drink of water. Remember, folks, the aim of these videos is obviously to give you a session now, but also to act as a reference. Hence the explanation. Two reasons for explanation, okay? So one, you understand what you're doing so when you do it in your own time. But two, these videos, one of the objectives is reference material for boxers, coaches, anybody. Okay? Grab 30 seconds there, grab a drink of water. Now we're going to move on to painting skills. Give you another 10 seconds. Okay, folks, we'll crack on, okay? About 15 minutes left, so we're bang on time. That's 30 minutes gone. Folks, so fates, okay? I'm speaking more so for the boxers and coaches here. Fates is a very, very crucial skill. Boxers have got a master fates. What is a fate? What, what do we mean with a fate? It's to disrupt an opponent. It's to provoke an opponent. There's loads of different things we can pull, but the three main things is we, we need to disrupt their mind. So if our opponent's thinking on their tactic, what they do next, if we're doing something that's going to distract that, that's a bonus for us. We also use fates to disrupt their, their guard position. Okay, so if, whether they're hands up, hands down, whatever it is, our fates, okay, which will explain how fates number it, mul multitude of different fates can disrupt that. We can also disrupt their movement. Well, the psychological ones, the better, the, the mind ones, the best, disrupt their tactics, disrupt their thinking. And again, general statements, because boxing is very 
you know, loads of different moving parts, but again, it can put them off their tactical thinking. Okay, so today we'll cover more things. Today we're going to cover what's called punch feints. Okay, you, you can faint with body movements, you can faint with the feet, you can faint with the, with the eyes, whatever, but we're going to faint, okay, with punches. Okay, now the key to feints is to execute a feint, as in to do the skill, it's not that difficult. Okay, as you'll see in a second, and those boxers know whether I'm just reaching out, but it's not that difficult. The art and skill is, is the psychological aspect. Okay, so I'll, I'll explain as we go on. So the first thing we're going to do nice and simple is I'm going to work behind the jab, I'm working behind the left hand, then I'm going to feint that jab and throw the rear hand. Okay, so for the general public watching, okay, let's say I'm throwing the jab, the opponent thinks I'm coming in with the jab, I then pretend, if you want to, you know, use that word, pretend I'm going to throw the jab, okay, to distract them, but really that's the punch I want to go with. Now, like you say, that bit's easy. So I'm throwing the lead hand to the head, okay? I pretend that, that's easy there. The skill is being convincing. You need to tell yourself in your mind, you're throwing that jab, but you're just putting the brakes on. Because if you don't, you won't sell the fame, you won't sell the dummy, and the chance that's not going to be effective, okay? So nice and simple, folks. Just nice little time again, spinning the boxers, you can pick this up pretty fast, okay? So I'm just preparation, there, 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 I'm going to fake that through the rear hand, okay? So three punches with a jab. This seems to do a little bit of movement. There, there. I'm going to fake that and throw that, okay? Nice and easy. Where you go. Just keep practicing now. No matter what level you are, even if you haven't boxed before, okay? These are the basic fundamentals we need to practice in, whether we're a novice, somebody not boxed before, or an Olympian, okay? Fainting skills must be practiced. Keep it going. There, there. There, fake with your hand, okay? So it's the third fake. The opponent's from your opponent. You're throwing a one jab and protecting that. Another jab, another jab. I'm thinking, oh, you're working off the jab now. I'm expecting that jab coming. Maybe I've opened up my guard because of that thought. And then bang, rear hand. Nice and easy, okay? We'll change that now. This time, we're fainting with a jab and I'm going to come down for the rear hand to the body, Okay? There, we'll just use numbers of three, nice easy second sequence. And we're going to go there, preparation there, there, bring the jab down, put your hand to the body, back up, okay? So now we're at simple, simple execute, but like you say, if it was simple, everybody would do it effectively, okay? The key is that psychological, you're selling them, make sure they think or get them to think the punch is coming. One more time, straight on. So one, two, three, fake, boom, downstairs. One, two, three, fake, boom. Just keep doing that, folks, nice and, nice and slow. We're going to build up shortly. Think of that fake. It depends how you, you basically think and how your mind works. Some people like to think it as a third of the punch or a little bit of the punch. You know, so if that's a full extension, you just keep doing what I'm speaking. If that's a full extension, okay, I'm only coming there with my fake. I'm doing a little hip turn as well to make it. Convince them as if I just go, let's do the other way. Let's say I'm not concentrating my feet and it's sloppy. I'm going there, 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 and then just flicking as you see the chance that especially the more experienced boxers get, they're not gonna they're not gonna go for that. Okay. Good. Right now, the main bit what I want to come on to is the double fainting. Okay. Practice the single feints first, but we're gonna double faint now, just what we've done there. So we're gonna work off the jab, work off the jab, I'm gonna faint the jab. I'm going to feint going downstairs, and then I'm turn, turning up with a lead to, to the head. Okay, one more time, very slow. I'm going to do this for a two-minute round. So look, nice and slow. Preparation, okay? Maybe bubble distance. Okay, that got me switched on there. My feint's coming, two feints. First feint, jab. Second feint is this, I'm going downstairs, and then come up with a lead to. Semi real time, there, 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 feint, feint, hit. Okay, you'll see yourself, visualize yourself, that faint and that faint. Hopefully, the opponent might be coming down to guard the body and open that up. Right, folks, two minute round, concentration. It's not about work rate right here, it's about looking at yourself on the screen, being realistic with the faint. There we go. I'll just remind you so we're working off the lead hand to the head, working off the lead hand to the head, faint, faint, boom. Faint, third punch, where we want to hang down, bring the knees down, faint that. You look, you're, you're protected there. With a fade, you're protected there with that fade. Okay, and then we bring it up with a hook. Double fade punch. Double fade punch. Keep it going. Practice. 
Practice. Practice. Double fake punch. Work off the jab. Work off the jab. Doesn't need to be three. Work in your own time. Fake, fake punch. Back in the position. Tactically, I suppose we're still in the attack preparation phase. I suppose we're still with tap preparation because it's a single punch. Keep it going, folks. Keep it going. We'll do another 30 seconds at this. There, there, there. Fake, fake punch. Fake, fake. Nice and protected. Look at the leg position. There. So we're really driving that hip round. There, there, there. Fake, fake. Good position there. Sorry, it's a bit too long. My feet's there and then up. Okay. Last 10 seconds. Time, okay. I'm going to do a second double fake now. Second double fake, and we'll put them together. So that was number one. Number two, in fact, I'll, I'll start with one first, we'll build up. So I just simply want you to fake, want you to fake the rear hand to the head and throw the lead to it, okay? Good fake as well. Obviously, it depends on distance, depends on, depends on tactical situation. Okay, but well, let's say just for the just for the training aspect, I'm fainting with the rear hand. Look at the little rotation there. It's setting up. It's loading my front leg and I'm turning to the hook. And again, faint punch, faint punch. So let's say we'll work off the sequence of three. So I'm throwing my rear hand there. Okay, throw my rear hand there. Throw my rear hand there, and then I faint and turn it to the hook. And again, I throw my rear hand there. Good distance. Throw my rear hand there. Throw my rear hand there. Faint punch, okay? And again, throw my rear hand, throw my rear hand, knuckles down, throw my rear hand, faint punch. There we go. Keep that going. Use your screen to look at your technique. Hopefully, as you've seen there, I'm not bringing my hand after the faint. My hand's not, I'm not cocking my, my punch from there. I'm fainting and I'm turning the hip and the shoulder to land with the hook. Keep that going. Keep that going. Good, now we're going to double faint. So look, faint that rear hand, faint that hook, faint that hook to throw the bolo, double faint. Okay, so again, all together, boxers, if you've got it, you just crack on. Everybody else, listen, so we're throwing the rear hand, throwing the rear hand, throwing the rear hand, faint the rear hand, faint the hook, so I get thud to the punch, whatever. So that's the real hook. I'm just fainting with a little turn of the shoulder, okay? And then throw the bolo. Look what that second thing does with the hook. Good protection. Remember the defense we've done with the wedge block. Okay, so I'm slowing it down. Boxes again. You just keep it going. But listen to the explanation. So we're throwing the rear hand, throwing the rear hand, a little bit of movement. I faint the rear hand. I faint that hook. And that's turned into a bit of a wedge block. So I'm going to protect myself as well, which is great. From that, anything coming from that side of the opponent's line of attack. And then that's the punch there. Faint, faint, punch. Faint, faint, punch. Obviously, be mindful of distance. If you're close range, this isn't going. You wouldn't be throwing straight rights anyway, but just obviously because you are turning on the hook, I don't need to explain to you about foul and use of elbows. So this is obviously going to be done middle, long distance. Faint, faint, punch. Okay, double faint. Let's go, folks. Let's go another 90 seconds at that. Another 90 seconds. Be realistic. Okay, good technique when we're sitting up. Throw your rear hand. Throw your rear hand. Be realistic with your fade. Fade. It's all about weight distribution. There, a little bit of the hip. That's blocking anything coming on. And the big bolo there. Don't do what I did. I seen too much fresh air there. Sloppy technique for me. I'm going to do it again. Fade. Fade. There. That's better. Okay. So hopefully protection all the way through. Keep it going. Good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Good. Time there. Drink of water, folks. Really switch on now because we're going to put these double feints in with some combinations we did last week or before, okay, to some specific shadow boxing now. So have a drink of water. Let's go for it again. Everybody still hear me okay? Who's going to be first this time? Who's going to be first this time? Oh, Maddie again. Maddie, you must have the phone right there. <laughs> Thanks, good stuff. Oh, Oral as well, good man. Good stuff, right, folks? Great, great. So let's put them two fainting skills together now, okay? 
So if you remember, double faint number one, just still keep drinking water. We'll have a little explanation. That double faint number one is faint the jab to the head, faint the rear hook to the rear hand to the body, and then throw the lead hooks. So remember, we're working off the jab, attack preparation, tactical thinking. Okay, faint, faint, hook, reset, working off the rear hand, working off the rear hand, faint, faint, bolo. Okay, that's the sequence. That's the sequence. So one more time explanation. We're just going to do this a two-minute round in your own time. Okay? One more explanation. Boxers, you crack on, you'll get this. So first of all, working off the lead hand. Work off the lead hand. Faint, jab. Faint, rear hand to body. Turn it to the hook to the head. That's the punch. Faint, faint, punch. Reset. Off the rear hand. Focusing on technique. There. Faint, rear hand. Faint the lead hook. Turn it into a wedge block. And then executing the bowl. Away we go. Two minutes. Then just reset in between. The main thing is when you're working, be realistic with the feint, okay? That's self explanatory. So you, you've got the technique of the punches, the feint. It's not hard to throw a feint or to flick something out. It's the psychological, it's your body language, poker face, or whatever it is for you to realize that you need to be really realistic, okay? That's when you've mastered feints. That's when you've mastered feints. If your opponent's taking the feint, taking the dummy, and you're setting and opening up, then you've cracked it. How do you master feints? Practice, 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 practice. Keep it going. Off the jab, first of all. Off the jab. Off the jab. Feint. Feint. So bringing the height down. Just start to release the punch. Hopefully the effect the opponent's there. Opening up to the lead hook. Number two, off the rear hand, off the rear hand, knuckles down off the rear hand. Bain, turn that hook as if a thrown hook gives you a defense as well, which is great. And then the weight distribution sets you up nice for that rear hand bolo. So it's there, there, it's on the back leg. I just need to rotate through again fast and throw the bolo. Another 30 seconds, folks. Okay, right, I'm going to really challenge you now. So, we're going to start off, we're going to do another two-minute round, okay? Boxers, you do it fast pace. The preparation phase, so this is the order you're going to do. When I give you go a box, you're going to do the two double fakes. So, be realistic off the jab, be realistic, okay? Fake, fake, punch, reset, off the rear hand, off the rear hand, off the rear hand. Fake, fake, punch, main attack, okay? Main attack. Rear hand, leave to rear hand, back in. And I want movement with that. That's your main attack. So just get started now, I'll remind you. Okay, go, box, where we go. Off the jab, off the jab. Faint the jab, faint the rear hand to the body. Up with the hook, reset. Rear hand, rear hand, middle distance, rear hand. Faint the rear hand, faint the hook, get that bolo in. Reset, punch, punch, punch. Attack going forward. Okay, repeat, repeat, repeat. Repeat, repeat. I want to see that movement on the main attack. Fainting. There, fainting. Get your two feints off and punch. Throwing the punch, fainting, and then boop, boop, boop for the main attack. Keep that going good. Concentrate, okay? If you're doing it 100 miles an hour, be honest with yourself. Look at your screen. All the skills got to be there. There, from the jab, good. Good distance with a jab, good feint, good feint, turn up to the hook, reset straight away, always in a position to punch and defend. On to the next one. rear hand, rear hand, rear hand, feint, turn the hook over, that gives you a defense, follow, reset, ready, punch, 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 going forward. Keep it going, another 30 seconds. Another 30 seconds. Good. Should be good flow rhythm all the time. No stop start, please. Go from one transit th transition through at a good rhythm. Straight away, the preparation is the faint punch, faint punch, the attack, back in position, repeat, repeat, repeat. Last 10 seconds. Time there, right, folks? 
Last little bit, bit of reaction, okay? Last couple of minutes, that's 45 minutes now, okay? Just going to really work on your reaction now, okay? I'm going to build up as we go. So, I'm not going to move a lot, so don't worry about too much room. I want you to, first of all, react to my movement. This is my spot here, okay? If I burst forward, all right, I want you to burst back, okay? So you can use me as a guide. So if I come forward, I'm just going to take two steps, I want you back two steps, okay? If I go back two steps, I want you forward two steps. Okay? Stand by. We'll just do that. I'm going to move laterally in between. I'm going to move laterally. So we're just focusing on your reaction now. There. Hope you move fast. If you've got a parent, brother, sister, pal in the room, okay? Let them be the judge whether you're moving fast enough. Then we go again. Come on, don't switch off. Don't switch off. Don't switch off. Don't switch off. I'm going to faint now as well. I'm going to faint. Look, going back so you should be going forward. Don't switch off side to side, side to side. I'm going to faint all the time. I'm going to faint forward. Whip. Okay, that's you going back. Remember, when I move forward, you move back. I'm going to faint all the time. This is what I mean by faints. So hopefully, I'm selling you these faints. I'm selling you these faints. And then get them to do what I want to do. Okay? Get them to do what I want to do. I was just slopping with the faints. Too lethargic, not going to happen. But if I'm fast with the faints, good, hopefully they're realistic. But I don't need to faint all the time. If I've got you thinking now, if I've got you thinking, I'm going to move my side to side. Good, last little bit punching. Okay, I'm going to move a bit closer now. I'm just going to give you a target area and you throw the punch. So my hands are going to be here. Whatever I point to, you throw your punch. Nice and simple. Where we go. There. Faster. There. There. There, there, there. Three punch combination. There, there, there. When I give you go. There, there, there. Come on. There, there, there. Come on. There, there, there. Come on. There, there, there. Keep going. If I step back from here, just single shots. There, there. If I step back with my hands on my head, I want you to burst forward, double jab, backhand. Okay? Reaction again. That's a single punch, so you won't be hitting the rear jab there. There. Rear hand. As soon as I move my hands back, if you move wrong, I didn't put my hands on my head. I've got to go with my hands on my head back. Again, so you shouldn't have moved. Now you can move. Good. Now you can move. Good. There. There. Last little bit. Come on. There. There. Fast. There. Two punches. Boom, boom. There. Boom, boom. There. Finish to the chin. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Bum, 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 let's go. Bum, 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 let's go. Oh, did you stay over the fame? Did you stay over the fame? Let's go today, come on. Back, double jab, back hand. Back, double jab, back hand. There, 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 so folks, before I go, please again, just to help, please do go on the Facebook, put your comments on, share it among your group, your Facebook. We must have tens of thousands of people in our Facebook circles just to really get the subscribers up on the YouTube channel. Okay, folks? Glad you enjoyed it. And please put some... We got, we got five or six the last time, so when you go over to the Facebook and comment... When you go over to the Facebook and comment, put any anything you'd like to see as well, anything specifically. Okay, folks? Thanks very much. And if anybody knows a hairdresser, all right, give them a shout because I'm having to start to use gel now. <laughs> no doubt I'm not the only one with a bad, a bad <laughs> hairstyle than it. Thanks a lot, folks. Cheers. Again, please, just if I can ask you to go and comment on the Facebook page. Um, that's much appreciated. And I'll see you all. We'll probably... <laughs> Great. I've got a good hairdresser already. <laughs> right, folks, thanks very much. Please do go on the Facebook comment what you want to see next week. And I'll confirm through the week, but we'll probably go for next Saturday again. Okay, folks, thanks very much. <laughs> I've shaved off before, Callum. Cheers. <laughs> thanks very much. Cheers. <laughs>